Hello, my dears, and welcome to another Let's Build New Crest. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Apologies for that. Welcome. We are here. We're back at Park Lane Apartments, my loves. Few things have changed since last time. Not too much, but we've we've definitely done a few little nicks and nips, nips, nips and tucks. Nicks and tuck? I don't know. We've done some. Anyway, we've made a few changes. Excuse, I've just left my hair to dry. I have not even looked at it and I can see it in the monitor now. And it's all right, actually. It's not too bad. Not too bad. And I didn't even <laughs> bother ironing my t-shirt because why the fuck would I iron a t-shirt being sat inside in quarantine? It does not make sense. So we're not doing it. The iron can go to hell. And that's how I feel about that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I pulled a couple comments. There were loads of great comments last time. There really was. Um, I'm going to pull a few more from those comment boxes as well as the videos goes on. But I've just pulled a few up today just to kind of get refreshed and not refreshed. But I don't know. Get the juices flowing a little bit more. One of them being from Judith Melvin. Maybe the dad in the snobby family is a doctor and got passed over for a promotion and Robert got it instead. Now, I know there was a previous comment similar to this one. Um, I was trying to look for it and I couldn't bloody find it anywhere. So we're going to go along with that storyline because Robert is a he's chief of staff or chief. I don't know what it is. So he's like the head guy in the medical field. That's my knowledge on that. Um, just spat on my screen. Yeah, I would like him, the dad of this um, family that we're moving in to be a surgeon because I've seen a couple of you guys also say that surgeons don't really get along with doctors um, and how true that is I do not know but we're going to be doing that as well um, and I pulled another one as well from this lovely my fair Rachel I love that name that's really cool okay here is my way too long winded idea by the way this was a perfect like amount <laughs> so it wasn't long winded the older woman could be a famous writer general public thinks she's a sweetheart but she is self-absorbed judgmental and uppity she's worked very hard to get to where she is in life married had her son and divorced and then got left at the altar i think i'll change that storyline i think i'll make the husband die because you all know how much i like dead husbands <laughs> Oh, that's really bad. But if my boyfriend was home now, can you imagine? He'd be like, I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm not psychotic. Well, I am, but in a good way. <laughs> Since then, she's only had love affairs. She's famous for her saucy romance novels, but she writes another genre, thrillers or mysteries under the, is it pseudum? I never know how to say that. Never know how to say it. It's a very weird word. I do not like it. Um, that she prefers. So maybe like a, yeah, like um, Robert Galbraith. <laughs> Is that what JK Rowling goes as again? Robert Galbraith. I know what you mean. She is best friends with the woman who runs the florist shop, who also, by the way, I know you're thinking I'm leaving her out. Bitch, Mrs. Hickenbottom is getting her own house. She's having seven poodles as well. well maybe not seven, maybe two. Um, but yeah, just to say on that. Anyway, I've, how many times have I got sidetracked in this one comment? She loves parties and wishes her son was more ambitious and less boring. She pretends to be humble, but she cannot stand. She, but she can't stand not being the center of attention and her backhanded insults are biting. I love that. I love that. We're doing it. It's happening. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just pulled out them two. There were more. But for the meantime, we're going to get into game anyway. Get started because it's five minutes in and all I've done is talk about shit. As per usual. So here we are. So you can obviously see I've made the terrain a little bit more smoother. It's still quite steep. Some people were saying to put a ramp down using a roof. I've done that so many times on so many builds for so many years. And I know that roofs don't go down in basement level. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, well, maybe actually because we didn't do a basement. That's why it's not working. Maybe I could put this down here. We're going to try it anyway, because there were so many of you like saying, what about this? Do this. What about this? Which I love, by the way. I'm not being bitchy. I do love us pulling together as a community and getting in some good old um, brain things. 
<laughs> no idea what I'm saying. No, that's not going to work. We're just going to leave it as it is. The weird thing was this texture kind of stretched and I can't spray paint that. I've, well, I cannot terrain paint that, which is a bit sad. A bit sad. So you can obviously see I swapped out the brick as well that we used last time. The stone. We've gone for this more slate stone. I've obviously done some more, some terrain painting and some landscaping. Um, I've also climbed up some ivy here. I've also put windows in the stairwell using that window that I thought didn't go last time when really it kind of does quite nicely. Um, I've also put some skylights to ignore the lights that are on them. I was just lighting up the place. Yeah, so just ignore them. Don't pay attention to them, darlings. And I've just lit up the place again. I've put I've put the wood that we're going to be using on the balcony. I've also put it inside. I'm unsure if I'm going to keep that wood on the inside yet. It, I think it depends on what feel we go for um, the actual interiors and stuff. Um, out the back here, we have got the garden. I've put a high wall on this now. I'm actually going to make this all stone. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um... So that there's the garden or the outside space for the bottom apartment. Now, I have opened up this bit because my thoughts were, why don't we do a outdoor gym? Would that be a thing? Or I've also got the option of going down into basement level now. And because we said we were going to put a gym downstairs and doing like a gym and maybe like a couple of saunas and stuff under the, the actual lot itself. I mean, that is an option. That is an option. I could even build right up to this and take the basement right down. Which I think would probably be a better idea than doing an outdoor gym. Because, you know, weathers and stuff. And this is supposed to be in the UK. So you don't know what the weather's going to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. So today. Anyway. Today we are going to make a start. Well, get the outdoor areas down here all finished. Obviously some more landscaping needs to come around here. I would probably think of putting a hedge around this part just so that nobody can get access onto the side and this is kind of like a bit more private we're then going to get i'm not going to do any of the balconies until i get to the actual place or the actual apartment when we start furnishing them and i think today we'll um sort out the staff areas and also the reception areas now i'm going to be pushing this back a bit i think now i'm unsure we're going to get to that in a minute anyway but i thought this marble was a really cool um texture to use and yeah i'm kind of here for it there was a few of you that were saying trying to widen these areas like the stairwell areas to make it a little bit more wider i tried that i pulled it out one square and it just made the build to me not look the same way so we're just going to keep it that way the sims can use it it's fine it is fine right anyway without further ado how many we're eight minutes in and i've done fuck all story of my life really story of my life right down into basement level so this is what we're going to do first this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this mapped out. It's going to be stunning and we're going to be here for it. And that's what we've got to say on it. Um, I hope you've had a good day. Whatever you've been up to. I've been flopping about in the garden. Planting, repotting plants. Like the green-fingered little devil I am. Oh! Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Oh... Because I didn't do a basement per se, that there just clears the top of the the thing off. Um, so what I'm going to have to do instead is... If I can connect it through this way, not that I'm going to keep this wall here, excuse you. Um, where are we coming down to? Let me get a little marker there. Okay, so it's like there. So to the edge of there, that should be fine. Okay, right, if I can pull this right up to the edge of there then... And if I can just skadoodle this just here, make it into a room, flop it above. I did come out one more than necessary there. Okay. And then go in with a little cheeky floor. Oh, I just don't like the way that the terrain now does that. It's because of how I've built this place. Um, I wanted that to be a flat wall there and not make the train go down on it oh shit the sheets for goodness sake i've had enough of your lip <laughs> sound like my mum um i've had enough of your lip 
Is that a British thing to say? It sounds like a British thing to say, doesn't it? Um, no, this isn't going to work now. Because what I wanted to do, really, was have that kind of look. And it's going to be weird. Can I, like, you know, just skirt over the top of it? Where's this little... Oh, and it... Oh, no, there we are. That's going to go under there, though, and not recognize it on top there. Yeah, no, it's conflicting. Right, okay, we're having a gym. We're going to have a gym on top. Bugger it being in the, uh, the underground. Even though we do need a stairwell to come from the garage... That's going to be a bit difficult to place, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I could do it there. I could do a stairwell here, like an outdoor stairwell, because all they'd have to do is walk up there and come in here. That makes sense. Okay, right. Anyway, we're going to make a gym. I'm going to do an outdoor gym on this level here, actually. And that kind of hides that wall up there, too. I think that's kind of a nice size for a gym and maybe sauna. Let's have a look. Um, Excuse you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Okay, let me see this. I just need to get the balance right with the roofs up. Just, to, yeah, no, that will be fine. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. I'm there for it and it's going to happen. And I love the fact that all of my wallpaper papers, pip, <laughs> all of my wallpapers disappeared then. Wallpaper, pip, pip, If you can tell, I'm a little bit hyper today. I'm just in one of those moods and I have no idea why, but I'm here for it and it's staying. That's what we got to say on it. Um, Maybe bringing that to this level because then we could have this as like a a community garden of some descript. Let's leave a nice three wide in front of the gym. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's stunning. Yes. Yes. Now, do we want to use this same brick for the gym? Or do we want to do it in the wood? That could be it. That could be happening, actually. I think we're gonna have we're gonna do it with that. Obviously, we can't put windows on that side because that is a garden. But we can for uh, we can put windows looking out that way. Let me just see what's there. Eh, it's a park. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Right. Um. Do I want to keep that flat roofed? With just a little overhang here, maybe. I think so. Let's try that first. Before we go any further. Uh, if I can just try you to there. Yes, but I am going to come up there with that one. I love that that I did that again. Love it. Thank you for doing that. And maybe just one there. Oh, no, not there. Oh, actually there. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. I like it. We're going to be there for that. We're going to be absolutely there for it. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, And then I'm going to plonk you to there. You behind there, my love. You there. And then a flop you to there. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. I love it. I really do. <laughs> um, We're going to put trim round now. Do I want to do a simple... Oh, I think so. I don't think we're going to get a matching wood, though, are we? Well, that's not too bad, but it's not the right tone. Well, it's. I think that's the best of the, best of a bad bunch, really. Um, and then maybe doing a half wall, smaller, just around here, because we're going to do skylights in this place. Because we are all for a skylight. I get moist about a skylight. Yes, and I'll use the wood that I put in there on top this as well in that direction if you do not mind oh that's gorgeous yes okay right we'll get those skylights come to me darling there we are um hoping i'm not shouting into the mic too much and do excuse this weird glitchy thing going on down in the corner down there as i said i will be getting my new camera very soon and i am absolutely here for that i cannot wait cannot wait it looks very difficult to set up um, as a streaming camera. So, good luck. Good luck to me. Yes, I think so. Or should we do six? Or is that very much overkill? Is that going to be overkill? We're going to test it. We're going to test those waters. And see if that is overkill. Nope, I'm absolutely here for it. 
Yes. Yes, queen. Okay. Right, so, windows. To the wall. To the sweat drips down my ball. <laughs> Doesn't sound right with an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. No, I'm thinking more. I don't know if they would like a bit of privacy being in the gym. I mean, it's not. It is a public walkway here, so it kind of would make sense. Haven't got my cheats on. Let's get them on now. I'll move objects on, darling. Um. I mean, I could like do them at that height. I'd do them at any height. <laughs> um, I'm making my own jokes and laughing at them, aren't I? What is wrong with me? Oh, that's very uh, that I don't know. I kind of I'm kind of there for it. I won't lie to you, because it's still getting light in, and the majority of the light is coming from above anyway. So it kind of makes sense to have a bit more of a privacy window. Going into this part. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it live. It's here. It's done. It's here to stay. We're here for it. And that is all I've got to say. <sighs> right. A little wind, a little door into here. I love these doors. But I just wish that they came in a better size height. This is medium. It's not medium. Um, and also better cut tones. Because I have never once used this. Or this. Or this. Or this. I've used that one. I won't lie to you. But yeah, that I just, just... I just can't be there for something like that. I really can't. This is like a really weird five width. So I need almost a three door. Like this. Oh, oh, that looks glorious. I really hope it comes in a good swatch though. We did use black windows. So what about if we use a black door? Oh... <gasps> Moist. Right, okay. Right, we got the gym there. The gym's in. Okay, we're going to use that weird cushiony floor, which I can never find anywhere because I don't know where it is. I'm going to find it. Give me one squiffy second. There we go. I found it. I found it, my loves. It is in tiles, which makes sense because it is a squishy tile. Do we want to do wood on the inside as well? No, I think they would render over with maybe just a bright white. A bright white. Or even a soft grey. Oh, a soft grey, yes. Yes. Okay, so that's enough space to be able to get some uh, workout equipment in. Oh, shit, I did say I was going to put a sauna, didn't I? Oh, well, no sauna. No sauna. It's just not... I, I don't want to have to squeeze it in because that's a kind of a good space there. And we're not going to... We're not going to squeeze it in. We'll just leave it as it is. Okay. So, pool area. I would probably see like a row of some beds maybe along here. Oh, that's going to be a community garden though. So, maybe just in front of the pool here. Yes, we'll do that. Right. Um, Can we get a bit of lighting here? I always forget this lot is a bit gash for lighting. And I'm just not a fan of it. Here we go. Lovely. Um. Yes. Oh. Uh, excuse you. All oh, right. Okay. Maybe a bit paler than that. No, that's not the right grey. And the white looks awful. We're going to be stuck. So maybe it's going to have to be that one. There we are. And I'm going to do. I'm going to do that stripy wallpaper that I never use. I think it came with university i do believe it did come with university yeah this one maybe i could use this and oh it hasn't got like a blue blue that's better i just wanted like a darker stripe like midway down and that one there is doing what it said it would do <laughs> i have no idea i have no idea what i'm saying <laughs> oh i'm just in one of those moods loves I just can't help myself. Oh, that's stunning. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll do a ladder up this end. And the, leave the sides free so we can actually uh, slip some sun lounges there. Nice row along there. And this here is going to be like a nice community like 
a communal space. A called communal. However you may say it. However you may say it. Um, okay. Right, into the garden. Everybody, come on, into the garden. <laughs> oh, Christ. Right, we've got to remember colours and tones and stuff. I don't want to go for the generic black and white like we usually do. I want a pop of colour. Lo I love a pop of colour here. I will not lie, but not one of these awful patterns. Well, they're not awful. They're just not for me. They're just not for me. Absolutely not for me, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, I like that one. Yes. We're going to go for a little peach moment here, my loves. Uh, one, two, three, four, and a five. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I'm there for it. I'm going to just trial a few others just to see. Just to bloody see. Um, What can we do? Blue. Let me do blue. Let me just see it with the building. Oh, yeah. I don't like the peach with the building. It looks disgusting. Um, Maybe. I think maybe darker wood and cream. I'm thinking so. I think we'll go for that one. If it changes, it changes. That's black. Ah, oh, I was just like, I don't want to do black and white. And I'm like, black and white's there. I'm like, might use it. <laughs> might do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. I don't know if I'm there for the pool trim. I don't know if I'm there for it. I'm going to just trial this one in white. Oh, I think I'm a bit more there for that one. What about you, my love? Oh, I think I'm even more there for that one, to be honest. Do you come in a lighter tone by by chance? Oh, that's absolutely glorious, that. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to change the... The uh, the sideway, sideway slabs? The sideway slabs... I'm going to change the sideways slabs, okay? The uh, pavement. The pavement area for maybe something... Where's that big square one? I'm going to find it. One second. Okay. So I've decided to go for the ones from Jungle Adventure. I just... I don't know. I prefer the texture of them. I prefer they look. I've also changed these into a grey and white. Um, <laughs> I love them. We're like, we're going to try a different colour. You're not. You're going to be doing grey and white, sweetie. Sweetie. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. I'm thinking over this side of adding in a fountain. A fountain of some descript. I I've, I really don't like these. I used to love these. I used to be all for them. But I just find them a bit obnoxious now. <laughs> I do. I just find them a little bit obnoxious. I always tend to go for these ones. Stirred. I really do. Maybe just doing. Oh, we could do like a little. A little. Yes, that'd be pretty. And then what I was thinking of just hammering out these. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, that looks great. I love that. <laughs> that looks so good then. I should have kept it. Right, my thoughts were then maybe going in behind here, putting a soil moment just by the pool area here. And then we can do some greenery behind the pool. Yes. Oh, F oh, definitely. Absolutely, Aiden. I'm thinking actually of adding in those same ivy pieces that we use here. Just, just to skirt around the back there. Just to skirt around the back of the pool. Um, I will make this look a little bit more natural in just a little second by doing this. Um, flopping in a few of these just around it, just so it creeps up and the, the shape's a bit more irregular. You see? There we go. Oh, yes, indeed. Absolutely. And then going here and just flopping a few of these around, to be honest. One there. One there. Um, we'll do two on either side here. Stunning. And another one there, please. And another consonant, please, Carol. Um, and maybe a hedge. 
Can we do like a hedge just like in between them just to make it look extra bougie? Oh, you bet your left tit we can. Um. Well, you're not equal, are you? No, you need to come along. You need to come along, Timothy. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not equal. It's not perfect. But neither is life. Is it, really? To be honest. There we go. Stunning. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And I'm thinking of just adding a few tippery bushes. <laughs> Just a few little ones. Maybe like the... Mm, oh, or these, actually. Oh, not you. You're CC. The same thing, but not CC. Where are you? I can. I know you're here. Don't you hide from me. Don't you hide from me. Where are you, you little shit? There you are. Oh, definitely. I just flop a couple of them in either corner as well, just to really bring that home. <laughs> Like there and there. Oh my god, yes. Christ almighty god, yes. <laughs> I am going to whiffle these closer over this way. Just so there's a bit more room on that side for other kind of shenanigans. Connecticut. What is that from again? Oh, I think it's from um, SNL. Custom wig in SNL. I always watch the outtakes of that because it's hysterical. We don't get SNL over in the UK. Very sad times. I would like to watch it because I love the cast that they use on SNL. They make me moist. Oh, I like, I'm there for that. And in that tone as well. Yes. So we definitely need to do an exit here. This is going to be the staff bits, isn't it? I think this is a little bit too big for staff bits now. I only wanted like one of these rooms. Um, So I might just open that up and have that as the kind of like reception area well obviously they're not staying like this i just put them there to get spatial awareness down so do not judge me okay i'm thinking actually of just i can i know i said i was going to like move away from that area but i'm thinking these need just a little bit of a bigger gap in between them uh can i do just four if i can do four because there is only four apartments i know there isn't there's going to be more than four people living in here We'll do the max of eight Sims living here as well. Um, and then what I can do is put a nice table. Can we get like a just... What if I use these? I know they've got a white and grey, but I could use... Uh, um, no, we couldn't. Okay. <laughs> Forget what I was saying. <laughs> we can't surfaces we'll go here we'll go into there um and i think i always use this one here by the pools i just think it's a great pool table but maybe if we do something just a little bit different now that's not giving me the vibe that's not giving me the vibe that i want not at all and neither will you i know the swat did you coming and you're they're shit well they're not shit they just never go with anything uh what about if i use a low level one Like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're there for that. There and there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all adventurous with the umbrella. We're going to put a nice shaded umbrella down here. <laughs> and maybe... Are you in this bit? Or are you in sculptures or something stupid? Are you in sculptures? Uh, I never used this one. Maybe we could use this one. Look at me with the yellow again. Living my best life. Uh, I think I do prefer the square ones. I'm just going to find that one. Give me one sec. Guys, we're doing it. We're using yellow. We're doing it. It's here. It's here to stay. And that's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying on the matter. Yeah, that looks cute. That looks very cute. Okay, so... We need a little staff exit here. Have they got like staff doors? I don't think they have. Maybe if I go in to get to work, there would be one that would jump out and remind me of a staff door. Well, these kind of do, don't they? I mean, I could definitely use that one. 
It gives, it's giving me the vibe and it's kind of going with the building. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. I think we'll do that, my love. So I think we will. Oh, can I like open up? Where's the toilet? This is going to be the toilet, isn't it? For the staff. Shit, I can't do that then. Shit. No, no, no worries. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. We do need a little cheeky window. Um, just above here. Maybe I could use it in the brown. Just to uh, get some natural light into that toilet. Not much, but at least it's something, you know? Do we want to pull that up to meet that door edge there? And maybe change the colour of this? I mean, the wood's not offending me too much. Or maybe we could go white with it. No, we'll go for the dark. We'll go for the dark. It's fine. I wish that came in a better colour. Okay. 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 Right, well, I'm going to put a little signage up here. Just so it says staff only. <laughs> um, Nothing too obnoxious. Please. Thank you. Um... We'll definitely need these in the in these areas. We'll put one there, and I will flop one. Oh, it's going to look ugly in here. Is that creeping into the ceiling? Yes, definitely. And uh, maybe we won't put one there. That's the that's the fire exit that way. So, would it make sense? Um, let me just filter this to get to work again. Some I've never noticed that it's literally like someone on fire there. That's hysterical. Well, it's not hysterical that they're on fire, but you know what I mean. You know what I fucking mean. Um, I just want something that's going to look like it says no staff, just staff entry. We'll just do this one. I know it's obnoxious, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, and I think on the wall here, we'll filter this to base game get a hose pipe going here just because this could like i don't know sort the pool out and stuff whatever that means <laughs> whatever that means i have no idea we're going to flop a bit of this behind here now though a bit of this trellis and the same by making that just a little bit more irregular there we go oh yes please absolutely okay um and i think here I'll put a staff, like, well, not a staff bin, but a bin that the staff can empty. When I lived in a big posh, I lived in a big posh block of apartments once. Um, and it was probably one of the worst places I've ever lived in my life. Surrounded by snobs. And not the good kind snobs either. There are good snobs out there. Just, to be honest, surrounded by absolute assholes. I used to get towed off of hanging my towels on the balcony. It's a, it's a sight for sore eyes. No, Jeffrey, it's not. It's a damp towel and I put it wherever the fuck I may wish. <laughs> um, Do we use the darker wood ones? I think we do. So this is going to be just a little space where they can grow bits and bobs, you know. You know how it goes. Just for, just for the elder... Elder Sims and what? Well, it doesn't have to be just Elder Sims. I like growing stuff. I do. I'm thinking about doing this moment down here as well. Just flopping this one here. Getting that one to there. Flipping it around. Absolutely stunning. 100% here for it. Getting that there. Like so. Um, And then just flopping a bit more of that ivy around. Like so. Let me just get a little bit of balance. There we go. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, lighting for this area. I'm thinking war again, floor level. Oh, I love I love these lights. I love the industrialness of those lights. And I do like the glow that they give off as well. It's not going to give me much glow. But I think... I'm going to be here for it. Is that balanced? It looks balanced. 
Does that need to come up one more? Is that throwing me off? No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll do another one here as well. Um, I'm going to do a ceiling light there. Can we do one there? I, You bet your tit we can. What about here? Here? And here? Oh, yes. See, I just love that ambient glow. Ambient glow. And here, what I could put is maybe a nice... They haven't really got modern lanterns, have they? They've got these. Why does that make that glow like it's... Why is that a thing? I have no idea. That's weird. That looks strange. What about if I use that... Um... Oh, I could just use a candle. Oh, I like that. Yes. And then we've got space there to maybe... Oh, I know what we can put there. That little jug of um, drink. That would be good. Um, I think it's in this one. I do believe it is. Um, yeah, there we go. Look. We'll put a couple of these out. Maybe just in the white. And the staff replenish these with drinks for the residents when they're by the pool. I'm there for that idea. Can I put these, like, behind here like this? I bloody can, I tell you. And I think for the pool lights, oh, maybe, no, not them. No, we'll use the big long boys. We'll do one there. One there. Let me see what that is. It's right there. And right there. Oh, God, you're wonky. Stop making a fool of yourself. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. Yes. And here, just maybe just using these. And we'll do one, two. We'll do them size down. How how big is your lip? Oh, it comes right out. One there. One there. And this is going to give extra brightness as well. One there. Yes. Right. Need to remember where these are. Okay. So if I can size you down in this corner here or these Oh, let's have a look. See if that... Nope, that's still on the edge. Look, I hate that so much. So, I'm going to have to manoeuvre them. I mean, this area here is fine. So, maybe I could do like one. I oh, know, we'll do two. One and two. There we go. Um, and Maybe we'll just do three on either side here. And three on either side here. And then I'll shuffle them inwards. Just so they're not sitting on that... Uh, sitting on the edge of the skylight we'll just whiffle you in until you reach the wall with the green square down below there we go they might be a little bit wonky but as i said it does not matter it's okay you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine we're gonna pull through this together yes yeah that's better that'll be nice and lit there's the gym. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done with this little area out here. I did... W I'm thinking about putting a plant next to the... Uh, next to the sun lounges, though. Maybe we can put a nice little... Just a little one. Nothing too massively hectic. We do need to also get in some more... There we go. Plonk that to there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm just thinking. This might be. I, I don't know if it would. I don't know if it would flip out over the top though. I'm gonna try anyway. I love mirrors and gardens. When I get my uh, garden done, I definitely want some mirrors in it. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. What were we doing before? I'm getting distracted by pretty things. We were putting plants down, weren't we? We were putting plants down. I mean, I just wish that this came in better tones. I really do. I love this. I just always find this hard to match in. Oh! <laughs> he says as he sizes it up like six feet. My thoughts were just putting one like there. And then one on the edge over this way as well. Just to, you know. You know, just, you know. 
Yes, I think so. We'll leave that way free so they can kind of get through to that area nicely. Yeah, I'm there for that. There for it, my loves. Okay. Do we want to change this front bit here as well? Um, yeah, I think we're going to. We are going to. Someone said that you don't need a step to get up onto this level. Um, with doing the thing that I've done with the uh basement not being a basement, etc. You I think that you do have to have a step to get up on it. Um, so the steps are staying. <laughs> They're staying. That's a better tone, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let me how long are we up to here? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm trying to keep this walkway as free as possible. But what I think I might do... I'm not enjoying the colour of that fence now. Can I, like... Oh. It's like, that's... Can I, like, darken it? No. Oh, definitely not, darling. Mm, we'll just keep it. It's fine. Um... We obviously need to landscape this area with a few more trees as well. I would have loved a tree back here somewhere too. But we're just going to keep it open. I've still got to terrain paint all of this nicely as well. Like around the edges and stuff here. I think I'll go ahead and start adding in those landscaping details now. And then we'll get to doing the outdoor lighting at the front of the at the front of the apartments. Um, and we'll put that one just a little bit closer in. That's not cutting into anything, is it? No. No, it's not. I I pulled a couple of bushes out of debug as well. Um, just because I can, really. You know, you know how it goes, sweeties, don't you? Yeah, you there, you there. Lovely. I know that it's not realistic to have like plants and stuff like around every tree that you've got, but I just, I just enjoy the way it looks. And it seems to me that you have to, in The Sims 4, put rocks or plants around the bottom of trees for some reason. <laughs> I just enjoy it. And that's just all that matters. Okay, and I mix them up with a few of those as well. Just to, you know, break up that texture and get in a little bit of this. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do is use this one here. Let's soften you right down, darling. Well, let's plonk you all around where you are. And we're going to do a hedge as well. So we're going to get a hedge in here too. And um, probably using the same one what we used around the other side, I think. That would probably be the best way. Best way, my loves. Um, can I see what I'm doing? Thank you. Lovely. Right, if I can put that one around like that. Maybe a bit more there. And then what I'm going to do is go into the grass. Get you. Bring your size down. Soften you down. And just go on the edge of this like what is supposed to be a foundation or a foundation bedrock of some descript just to blend that rock in with the grass i use this one i love terrain painting i just wish that we had more terrain paints very surprised that we haven't got a lot of terrain paints like or new ones we haven't had any new ones for ages why i would like to know and why can we not paint on raised terrain as well that would be glorious if you could please do that sims team thank you thank you for coming <laughs> um there we go now around there lovely lovely and a little trail just off just to make the shape a bit more regular there we go stunning absolutely glorious I can't tell you how many percent I am there for it, but it's bled. It's a high number, my loves. It is a high number. We'll do the same here. Just trail a few off and just make it look a little bit more natural. Yeah. There we go. Oh, glorious. And what I thought was these hedges here. And just whifting. Can I take it right to there? No, we'll start at this bush. <laughs> we'll start at this bush bush here we'll start at this bush and we'll just drag it all the way along still one of my favorite uh landscaping objects in the sims 4 please don't be risen thank you very much should we go behind the gym as well yeah i think we will 
I think we will. Whether or not these will stay in when you do download off the gallery, I cannot say. Maybe I'll size them down then instead. Maybe I'll just whiff them down like that. Just so it hides that, like, floating um, uh, foundation. Can we? Thank you. Work with me, Sheila, for goodness sake. Um, should I take it all the way around? Yes, I'm going to. I am. I am. You watch me. Look. Gonna do it. Gonna absolutely do it. Going to do it. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't think we're gonna get to be able to do the reception area today. But it doesn't matter. I'm back tomorrow. I'm back tomorrow. And um, what I can do is do all of the foyers, the reception area. And we'll... Um... Maybe make a start on the first apartment for the older lady and her. Oh, no, because I want to keep them separate, really. Oh. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to furnish this now. I'm not going to record it because this it will be too long of a part for you guys to see. I'm going to furnish this area now and just show you what I did and explain through it. I think that would be a good way to do things. Um, I hope you don't mind, but... I'm just, I want to keep, I'm a Virgo, okay? I just want to keep these these parts all in their right and proper places. So that's what we're going to go and do. Okay, cool. Right, I'll see you in two seconds. You will see this and it will be complete. And as if by magic, the reception kind of foyer area is complete. I'm not enjoying that glitch, but okay, you can kind of see it. It'd be okay. It'd be fine. So... Here we are, my ladies and gentlemen and my friends and everybody in between. We are here. This is the main kind of reception foyer area. I enjoy the clinicalness of everything. I very much do. We could put a couple of like sort of waiting chairs just in case friends are going to come and stay. I don't know what we're going to do there just yet. I've put that down because it looked lovely. These are the doors, by the way, that we're using into each apartment. So they're kind of double bougie ass doors. Um, so this is the main kind of reception area coming through here. I'm going to put a plant in this corner as well. I just couldn't find the right plant. Uh, this, so this area here would be where the staff would go. Maybe put some coats and stuff for guests if they wanted to give their coats here. Or just lost property. The apartment mailbox is coming through as well with a little fire extinguisher on the floor there. Few, through into the staff room so it's not very exciting everything's very clinical but they've got a bench they can sit and eat on and keep all their stuff um locked away in lockers they've got a little microwave and a fridge moment and a sink going on there with some more storage above it that is obviously access out into the pool area over there and this is just a plain clinical very sad looking um staff toilet so there we have it my friends this is the end of this part. Oh my god, where am I? <laughs> so, um, I may tweak again, as I always do, tweak a few things off of camera here and there. I'm happy with the layout, I'm happy with everything and how it's flowing. Obviously, we still need to do the gym area, but I think we'll do the gym tomorrow. What we'll do tomorrow, we'll get to furnishing this first apartment. I'm going to go ahead and make the sims for that apartment as well. So, yeah, we'll get furnishing their apartment, their balcony area, obviously their bedrooms and their back garden, and also the gym as well tomorrow. Um, so that whole bit there. So the first kind of ground level would be done, um, which is rather exciting. Um, obviously, we're good. we still need to do the car park and stuff below. We'll chuck a couple of cars down there. I'll probably do that off of camera. It's not exciting. Um, and then... Each day, I will release a new apartment with a new family and some new stories coming involved. Coming involved? I have no idea. I have no idea. But this is where this part is going to end, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate your faces. As always, let's have a little chat down below in the comment box. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.